Gear up, go around, try again. That's closed canopy. Toggle down. Control and C. Uh, extra wheel brakes, left shift and W. I know what this is for, so that you can get as much uh, torque behind the engines as possible. Extra afterburner, left shift and S. Oh, I forgot to change my view to desktop, sorry. So I'm just binding them all into uh, the Logitech profiler because the SU33 has nothing bound whatsoever. And we somehow accidentally deleted everything else we had. Uh, for the SU27, so a bit of a nightmare, really. Right, so we're going to save that, make it the active profile, and that should work. Theoretically, theoretically, that should work. Power, yes. Lights, yes. Start engine, yes. Close canopy. Wall brakes, extra wall brakes, gear, and flaps. Okay. So the one other thing we need to do is electronics but i don't know what that key bind is i can't remember so we'll have to look i think it's that right shift and l isn't it yep pretty sure that's what it is so and what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to back up all of these logitech profiles that i create I don't know how how on earth we deleted every single profile we put in there. It took hours and hours and hours to put them all in and a mere second to delete the lot. So we're going to have to figure out a way of uh, making that work. And you need to be driving into a 10 knot headwind. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let's get started. Power on, press right shift and L. Internal cockpit lights on if you need them, press L. Start left, number one engine. Press right, alt and home. That's right, alt and home. Close the canopy now. Press left, control and C. That's left, control and C. And press the space bar to continue. Yeah, engines are spooling up. So now I really need that zoom back. Let's go uh, put that back in. So let's go search. Zoomba. Zoom in slow. And we'll put that on here. Add a combo. Bazinga. Normal. Add a combo. Kapowie. And zoom out slow. Bazinga. Cool. Now we can actually zoom in and look at these systems a little bit. Bear in mind, this is a completely new dash to me. Some bits are similar. Some bits are the same. But ultimately, they're not all the same. Cinematic view. Cinematic cam. All my wings are still folded up. Good job I checked. Oh my god, this ship is going to crash. But I don't hurry up, we're going to crash into that here or whatever that is. You'll see the number one engine winding up. Check the RPM gauge. This is highlighted. It's useful to know where the RPM gauge when you first start a new jet uh, and we will be using it to taxi. Also highlighted below the RPM gauge is the number one engine green ignition light. Okay, let's start the right or number two engine. Press right control and home. That's yep. right, control and home. Already done that. Once way. you see that spooling up, press the space bar to continue. Now for the tricky bit. 
we have 35 knots over the deck. There are three buttons highlighted. The top two are the afterburners being lit. These turn green. The lower centre one is the extra burner needed for carrier takeoffs. You get this by pressing left shift and E. This is the drill. You will, in order, but not yet. Throttles to max burner. Page up, page up, page up. Not yet. You immediately hold down the brakes using press and hold, left shift and W for max braking. Check burners lit. Green lights here, highlighted. Burners lit, release the brakes. Let go of left shift and W and apply extra burner, left shift and E. As you launch the ski jump, stick back. Don't stall it, mild buffer is fine. As you clear the deck, gear up, G. Okay? When you're ready, press the space bar. Yeah, right, that's going to go well. Okay. Don't read the writing, just listen. Page up, page up, page up. Left shift W. Green lights, go. Let go of left shift W. Extra burner, press left shift E. Stick back. Hup. Gear, G. Uh -huh. Fly the aircraft. Okay. Two ten clicks, 20 meters. Off you go, relax. Well done. <laughs> That's exactly how I expected that to go. I'm not sure I've put this key bind in the right place for, for this manoeuvre. There's too many things I have to do in close proximity to each other. Um, and also, when we started the engines, I'm pretty sure the wings weren't out. Um, which obviously is a big problem. So uh, we need to look at that and also... Um, when I did accelerate and put the extra brakes on, it still moved forwards, which it shouldn't do. So uh, we'll, we'll go through that again. Attempt number two. Up to 30 knots, and you need to be driving into a 10 knot headwind. This is what we'll be doing today. Press the space bar to continue. Got you. The, uh, the boat needs to be going at 35 knots, not me. Okay, I need to figure out how to get my bloody wings down. I don't think at any point he tells me how to do it. Folding wings. Right, control and P. At no point does he tell me to do that. Okay. Press the space bar. That's right, I put my own wings down, mate. Thanks for that. Request takeoff. See, that does not work in this. Okay. Don't read the writing, just listen. Page up, page up, page up. Left shift W. Green lights, go. Let go of left shift W. Extra burner, press left shift E. Stick back. Hup. Gear, G. Fly the aircraft. Two ten clicks, 20 meters. Off you go, relax. Well done. Alrighty, max power, max brakes. It says max power first and then max brakes. That makes no sense to me whatsoever. Because if you did that, you'd start rolling forward every single time. What makes sense is max brakes and then max power. Then max burner, obviously. External cam. I think we're ready to go. Flaps are down, engines are lit. Cockpit is closed. Let's try this. External cam. We are flying, girls. Girls, guys. Girls and guys. Guys and girls. We are flying. Man alive. Well done. We did it. Well, you did it. By the way, if you have 35 knots over the deck, neither holding the wheel brakes nor the extra burner are really essential when using the ski jump from the 6, 7, 8, 9 and M positions uh, when you look at the deck from above. Just so you know. Go ahead and try it as you uh, practice your takeoffs. Um, like wing folding though, it is a good habit to get into. Okay, now for the really scary bit, landing. Press escape to end the mission, or fly around at will. Happy hunting. Thanks. That was pretty cool. 
external cam. My flat retraction system isn't ideal. So if we now swap this to landing, now what's landing? I think that's probably landing. And maybe we can come around and land it too, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Bang on speed, 10 feet above the desired uh, altitude. Looking good here, looking really smooth. I'll be so impressed if I get this. This will only be my third attempt or fourth attempt at uh, landing on a carrier. And this is my first attempt on my own without guidance. I'll be so chuffed if I get this. Let's look at a bit low. Oh, we're a bit high. Cinematic cam. Damn it. So close. Gear up, go around, try again. Son of a bitch. So nearly had that. I went too high at the last second. Very high. I'm going to struggle to get this right. There we go. Back on the money. Balls it up. Splosh. And that's going to be the scariest thing in the world, isn't it? Damn it. Oh, a bit more practice. I'm, I'm so close to getting that. I was nearly on that one. Nearly had it. Definitely more practice required. That's fun. I like that. That's a challenge. <laughs>